Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you all the features of the new Mac Mini. I just got this new Mac Mini, this is the Mac Mini for 2013 and I'm going to show you all the features that it has and also how to upgrade uh, the memory to uh, 16 gigs. In this case uh, the new Mac Mini comes with 4 gigs of RAM and uh, about 16 gigs for about $118 so it's definitely worth the price. Uh, if you buy it through Apple you probably spend a whole lot more money. So this would definitely be a great upgrade for it. Stay tuned, I'll show you in the next few minutes all the features on this new Mac Mini and also how to upgrade your RAM. Thank you for watching, as always, I appreciate it. Alright, so here we have the new Mac Mini. I already took the wrapping out of the box, so that's done. Um, that way it makes it easier, I don't have to struggle with it on camera. But uh, here, um, let's take this out. And here's the box. Let me uh, zoom there. It comes wrapped in a nice um, plastic um, wrapping that it has. You just peel that off. And there we go. Um, here's your Mac Mini. And the bottom is where you would normally change the RAM, which I'll show you uh, in a little bit. What else comes in the box? You get the manual for the small little booklet, I guess, that they give you. And uh, you should also have the stickers that everybody likes to have. There you go, you have two stickers that come with it. All right. And then also you get an adapter, which is the HDMI adapter to the monitor, to the DVI. So you have that, which is great, comes with it. Um, and then your power cable. I think that is all that comes with this. There is no keyboard or mouse that comes with the uh, Mac Mini, so um, you're gonna have to that, get that on your own. Everything else, you're ready to go, so you should be able to just plug this in the Mac Mini. Okay, so I have the power cable, the one for the monitor, and the Mac Mini. So on the Mac Mini itself, in the front, there's nothing. There's no CD-ROM or any of that stuff, so you're done with that. You would need to go ahead and buy yourself um, one of those um, external ones that you can use. Uh, it just has a little light here and an infrared port that should have you in the front. By the way, this doesn't come with a remote or anything. The older uh, uh, Mac Minis had a, a small remote that it came with it. This does not. At least I didn't see any in the box that you can... Uh... Let me see. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's it. I just checked the box. There's nothing in it. On the back of the Mac Mini, you have several ports and stuff like that you have here. So you have uh, power connection right here. You have uh, Ethernet connection that you have. This has built-in Wi-Fi already, so you're good to go. Um, you have here a FireWire port, the HDMI connection, a Thunderbolt port, then you have four USB ports, and then you have here your um, speaker and microphone connection that you can use the line in out. And then you have uh, a, a slot here for your SD card that you can put in here so and then here is the slot for the air it looks like it has a fan or something in the in the back where it lets the air out of it to open the Mac Mini uh, this is supposed to be new it looks like it has something there um, when you open it it has the two circles here you just hold them and you're gonna do this motion to open it it shows you a little thing here at the bottom so you can see that you have to put it into this position to unlock it so, um, let's see how I can do this without uh, forcing it too much. I'm going to have to put it down and try it from there. Boy, I have to use my whole hand to open that thing. <laughs> Alright, so once the cover comes off, you have the uh, memory accessible here on the side. And pretty much that's it. There is no hard drive accessible here to change. Um, but the memory, it's easy to pop out. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory on this device. So I have here um, 16 gigs of RAM that I bought for it. And uh, I'm going to open this up here. I have 16 gigs here, 8 and 8. So this should fit the Mac Mini. I ordered it on Amazon and I'm going to have all the links at aramistech.com with that information so you'll be able to uh, just click on it and if you want to order there. I actually save money because if you have Prime, you don't pay shipping and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. 
and you get a good deal. And the price on the Mac Mini is actually cheaper than at the Mac Store. Um, so here I have the memory, and I'm going to go ahead and take out the memory from the actual machine. There's a little thing here, you just pop it out on both sides, and the memory will come out. And it has two, two of these memories. This is 4 gigs, so it has 2 and 2. Um, I wish it came with 8 standard, but I guess Apple wants you to pay premium price for it. I'm going to pop that second one out. Try to remember the way you put the memory in, or the way it came out, because the, you see the slot is smaller on this side than on that side. So it will go this way, with the small slot to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and try that and put the new memory in here. There we go. Alright, uh, let me uh, pop this in here. Okay. And that's seated in correctly. And um, here we go, I'm going to put the other one in here. Let me, uh, there we go. Alright, just make sure it's seated in right. Now you have 16 gigs of RAM on this machine. So that's definitely really good. It's really easy to do. It's not a complicated process to change the memory. You can do this yourself. And so this is a plastic cover by the way. And it has uh, an aluminum backing or metal here. And the plastic. It is very sturdy though. So once you're done, just go ahead and align it to the two little dots that you see down here. And you just put it to where the open one is and it'll, it'll actually align there and then once it's ready just then slide it to close it let's see here there we go there you go there, I locked it there you go so just put it make sure that the white dot is on the open um, circle here and once you do it, it will, all the connections you know the actual things inside will um, attach to it so you'll be good you can then just turn it and unlock and that's it it's that simple now you have a Mac mini with 16 gigs in it remember this is the Mac mini of 2013 so this is a brand new one that just came out and it actually looks pretty good compared to an old Mac mini one thing I wanted to share with you um, that I found during the course of uh, installing this Mac mini is that if you want to add a second monitor to the computer it's really simple this this adapter this is a mini display port adapter and uh, first you uh, grab your Mac mini connect your HDMI cable in the back here the adapter and then this is ready for your monitor to be connected on the side here it has a Thunderbolt port connection and when you get the adapter there's the mini display port adapter you can um, if you can see it here but there's the name of it I'll have the links and information on the uh, on my website at ironmistech.com so you'll be able to find it but just plug in that adapter right here in the back of the Mac Mini and now you have two monitors you can plug in your main monitor right here and your secondary monitor a VGA connection right here this is a great way to have on the new Mac Mini two multiple monitors on it so this is pretty cool One tip that I wanted to share with you is, that I've actually learned from selling my stuff and always being able to buy newer stuff is that if the things are really bulky, it's hard to get rid of them. And I'm going to show you something. I have an iMac right here behind me and I have the Mac Mini. Well, the Mac Mini is really tiny. These computers eventually go obsolete and if you want to sell them and buy the newest one uh, and you want to sell it like on eBay for example, selling that iMac is very complicated because of the weight. You know, it's a big machine and you need to have the original box if you want to send it safely somewhere. Whereas if you buy an iMac, uh, a Mac Mini, you can ship this anywhere. It's a small box and it won't take up a lot of room and the shipping is cheap so it shouldn't be bad and uh, you can just buy a newer uh, Mac Mini. Uh, this Mac Mini as a matter of fact comes with the i7 processor so you actually can swap it out and buy a newer one when this one becomes obsolete and that this is a great way to get rid of it and move your devices and get the, always the nearer one that comes in the market. Uh, I hope this tip helps you out. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it.